Hey everybody, I'm Neil Ronahan here with Nintendo World Report TV to talk to you about Steam World Heist, one of our 10 games we loved in 2015. Uh, what we did here at the staff at Nintendo World Report is that we all got together, we deliberated, we argued, we bickered, and we came up with 10 games that we collectively loved that came out in 2015. Uh, with me to talk about Steam World Heist is Justin Baruby. How you doing, guys? Uh, so Steam World Heist came out in December. It was uh, like Fast Racing Neo, another game on this list. It was another late edition that shot into our hearts very, very quickly. Um, this is the sequel to Steam World Dig, but instead of a Metroidvania, it's a 2D side-scrolling uh, strategy game. So, Justin, what have, what have you thought about the game so far? Uh, I'm what I feel like might be uh, halfway into the game, and... I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, my only real gripe is there's not enough inventory space, but I, it looks like that's going to keep expanding. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I love going into each level. It's randomly generated, so you can never be too prepared. You always got to be on your toes. It's not like one of those strategy games where you can get an FAQ and be like, I got to be here and move here with this guy. So it really requires you to always keep thinking about what you're going to do next and come prepared with the right characters, the right weapons. And there's so many different ways to approach each level that there's you can figure out your own strategy. You don't have to rely on like one specific method. Yeah. And I mean I, I think that the, the randomly generated idea and I think there's there's certain levels that aren't like I think a lot of like the boss levels, for example, aren't. But I mean it makes it makes it so the game doesn't really get stale because even if you're like maybe you're replaying a mission because you're stuck on it, then you're gonna get a new variation on that. Um, and it you know, one one layout could be a little easier or could play to the strengths of the characters that you've leveled up and stuff like that and even I'm uh, going through the new game plus right now and it feels totally fresh going through it and it just I mean it's a ran it, like I didn't realize it was randomly generated until the game told me it was randomly generated which I think is the highest compliment you can play a game pay a game like that yeah I figured out it was randomly generated when I replayed another level to get more stars that I messed up on I realized it wasn't the same level I'm like oh wait so that's what it's doing but uh yeah it's it keeps it fresh like we said and uh it, it, even if you mess up it doesn't feel like oh I gotta play this level again because it feels like almost a whole new level just with the same type of thing coming back enemy wise and whatnot yeah and I and I really like I love I love that the different. You have nine different characters that you can get, and each one feels very different. Even if some of them kind of have similar attributes and traits, like uh, you know, they all they all can use handguns, and they all have one of I think there's was there three weapon types: you know, sharp sharpshooter, assault, and heavy. And then there's the handgun. Um, but even the ones that have the similar gun types, they all have different perks. They all have you know, then one might have more melee damage, one might have more health. Um, and as you level them up, you can kind of you could build different teams to do different things and, and be better at different stuff. And the different weapons and gear that you can equip as well that you find, like that that adds even more complexity onto it. And I just loved I loved seeing what new gear could do. I loved seeing what new builds could do. And it just felt so fresh throughout the entire experience. Yeah, it definitely feels like the better Steam game of the year, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 kind of funny that uh, Codename Steam came out the same year as Steam World Heist, um, and they're both strategy games. But uh, Codename Steam, spoilers, did not wind up on our ten games we loved, but Steam World Heist did. And I mean, it's it's the rare game that I finished this, I saw the credits, and I promptly started a new game plus and played the first couple missions. Um, I haven't gotten much farther than since then, um, but I also I only beat it like a week or two ago, so it wasn't even like it was that long ago, but. I mean, it's just it's a it's a fantastic game. I think it's it's probably my favorite eShop game since probably Shovel Knight. Um, like I I love this game. I think it's incredible. And if you haven't played it, you should totally play it because it's one of the freshest two D strategy games. It's just freshest strategy games I I think I might have ever played. Yeah, it's a ton of fun. Yeah, uh, highly recommended. And that's why it's one of the games we loved in two thousand fifteen. Um, you can check out the other nine games that we loved by watching other videos here on Nintendo World Report TV. There are also articles up on the website at NintendoWorldReport.com. Subscribe, check out our videos, stay a while. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks, guys.